Okay, first four problems on the limits page, the limits review page. We have limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 over x minus 2. So obviously if we plug in 2, we're going to get 0 over 0, which is undefined. But we can cancel the x minus 2 because the factor is on top and bottom, which just cancels to 1. So then this limit is just going to approach 1 then. Here we have the limit as x approaches 5 of 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. So 2x squared plus minus 4x plus 7 is just a polynomial with no restrictions. So we just plug 5 directly into, into the function to figure out what the limit is. So we do 2 times 5 squared minus 4 times 5 plus 7. So this is going to be 2 times 25 minus 20 plus 7. That's 50 minus 20 plus 7. And that's going to be 37. That's our final answer. Here we have uh, x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 2. If we try to plug 2 directly in, we're going to get 0 over 0. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. First is you can factor the top and make this x plus 2 times x minus 3. Uh, sorry, reverse that. We're going to say x minus 2 times x plus 3. It needs to add to 1 but multiply to negative 6. And then that's over x minus 2. So then the x minus 2's cancel, and we can now just plug in 2, and we get 2 plus 3, which equals 5. But you also re may recall that if you have a limit where uh, when you plug it in, you get 0 over 0, you can apply L'Hopital's rule, which just says take the derivative of the numerator, which is 2x plus 1, over the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1, uh, because the derivative of 2 is just 0, right? So this is 1. So then now we can see if uh, we can try to plug in 2 again. And if this time, if it's not 0 over 0, then we're good to go. And it turns out that we're good to go. We get 2 times 2 plus 1, which is just 5. So that's the L'Hopital rule. So then for this one, we should just do L'Hopital's rule. There is a way to factor x cubed plus 1, but it's kind of nasty. And it would be easier just to do L'Hopital's rule, do the derivative of the top and bottom. So we get 3x squared over 1. So then we're going to get 3 times negative 1 squared, which is going to be positive 3. So the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x cubed plus 1 over x plus 1 is just 3.